For my first trick, pulling the dog out of the hat. Thank you, Chippy. Now for some credits. Impressed, eh? Well, watch this. Huh? Let me try that again. The wand never fails. I'm getting the idea. And now for my next trick. Oh well, back to the old drawing board. Pretty good, huh? I'm entirely self-taught, you know. I can't believe you've watched this far. I would have skipped through it by now. I can smell burning. Hang on. Ow! Ow! Ooh! <laughs> I'd like to see you do better. I wonder if I can find a better dog in here. Wow! I didn't even have time to get a phone number. And now, for all you traditionalists... Knocks them dead every time. Now for the woman again. Never mind. I like a woman with spirit. This homework is really bugging me. I think I'll find the dog and put it in the dryer again. So that's where you are. What's this? Ye oldie spell -key. What a load of old rubbish. Okay, Gobbos. This magic paper brings food. I thought I heard something. Alizigi. Alizangi. Alizongi. Alizongi.
Dear Simon, I am pleased to announce that you have been chosen from literally hundreds of hopeful candidates to perform a death-defying but extremely worthwhile quest for which you will be rewarded quite a lot. All you have to do is rescue me from the hands of the evil sorceress Sordid. Feel free to use my extremely valuable spellbook and dog to assist you. Look forward to seeing you soon. Wish you were here. Love and kisses. Calypso, Grand High Wizard of the Village of Fleur de Lis. P.S. Before you can use the spellbook, you must become a wizard. There are some wizards hanging around in the local tavern who can help you. P.P.S. Use this magic postcard and map to help you. Oh, great! I'm stuck here in this stinking world in these stinking clothes and not a pizza bar in sight! Lucky this is just a dream or I'd be really worried. It's my little dog, Chippy. A strange picture with strange symbols around it. It's a fine example of its kind. You wouldn't expect to see one of those here. The door appears to be stuck shut. A shallow drawer in the wizard's writing desk. Oh look, there's a pair of scissors in here. They look like hairdressing scissors. It must be Calypso's junk. He's very muscular. Good morning. He's too engrossed in his work to hear me. It's a metal bar from inside a bell. It's a fine example of its kind. No one will miss this old thing. It's large, wooden, and completely locked. I love wagon wheels. You can go up it or down it. It's super-powered elephant cold remedy. It's a specimen collecting jar for invertebrates. It's a papier-mâché moose head. 
it is impossible to strike up an intelligent conversation with an inanimate object. Apparently the place is called the Drunken Druid. I wonder what this is doing here. It's a box of safety matches. I haven't got any quarters. A jolly looking barman. He looks completely out of it. Good morrow, barkeep. Good morrow, lad. Do you know where Calypso has got to? Nah, but then that old geezer is always going off without telling anybody. Collecting magical ingredients, he says. Who knows what sort of harm could befall him, especially with that sordid character running about. What do you know about sordid? Very little. He lives up in the craggy peaks and generally keeps himself to himself. He's boosted my trade tenfold, though. Why? Has he cast some sort of spell over the people? No. It's a long story. Apparently, he wants to take over the entire world using black magic. Anyway, as a result, all the heroes are donning rusty armor again and coming back into service. All of them seeing themselves as the saviors of the world. The thing is though, they all stop here for a drink on the way. I've seen all sorts go through here, warriors, wizards, priests, assassins, and not one has been seen again. So what? I don't see what all the fuss is about personally. So he may be a bit power crazy and all that, but who isn't these days? The old fella keeps himself to himself. He don't bother us, we don't bother him, and that's that. You talk a lot, don't you? I'm a bartender. The punters expect local gossip and general small talk from me. I come from another dimension. As I said, we get all sorts in here. I quite fancy a drink now. Make mine a wet wizard. Hang on a moment. I'm sure I've got some sparrow juice down here somewhere. Where is it? The beer barrels which the barman is serving beer from. I'm sorry sir, I can't seem to find any sparrow juice at the moment. That's okay, I'm underage anyway. Anything else, sir? 
nice talking to you. So long. See ya. I'm looking, I'm looking. I'm looking, I'm looking. Uh, hello. What do you want, boy? What do you do when the sun goes down, babe? What are you on, kiddo? Get out of here. Hi, I'm doing a survey for Warrior Weekly. Would you care to take part? Okay, then. Do you know anything about the evil wizard Sordid? That's why we're here, actually. We've drawn it from the far northern steppes to battle with him. Through the perilous wastelands of Kring. Pausing only to defeat the evil tribe of Wedgie the Merciless. Across the plains of death and the fields of doom. Where we liberated the city of Tormer from the dark hordes of Kalish. We are now preparing to attack the Sorcerer's Tower and save the world. Again! What are your measurements? I'm a 38, 22, 34. And I'm a 36, 24, 34. You're not married, are you? No. Would you like to slip into something more comfortable? Get a grip on your hormones for a minute, please. How are you planning on getting into the tower? Well, brute force has never failed us in the past. But if that fails, then we've heard that the druid may be able to help. We can't find him anywhere, though. What are your hobbies? I like killing things and drinking a lot. And I like needlework and decorative embroidery. And killing things and drinking a lot. Don't you get a little cold during the winter? We just move around a lot. If you know what we mean. Have you always wanted to be barbarians? I killed my first goblin when I was four. And we liberated our first city when we were seven. So how many heroic deeds have you done then? We're second in the barbarian tag team, first division. And still in the running for the dismembered orc trophy. Where'd you get your armor? Battle Dwarf Forge in Northgate. We've never been disappointed. What did you have for breakfast this morning? Goblin flakes and orc's eye, sunny side up. What are your ambitions in life? Yesterday we pledged to rid the land of orcs. But we decided it was too easy. So today, our ambition is to kill Sordid. Do you dye your hair? I use orc's blood to do mine. And I use troll brains. What do you wear in bed? Armor. Thought as much. No more questions, ladies. See ya. You'd better give us a good review. It's awfully hot in here. Right, have we twitted the sparrows yet? I don't think that bit is too important. Well, uh... Uh, what's his name? 
you know, the short man, said that was very important. I think it just makes an awful racket. It doesn't sound much like sparrows either. You know, I wonder where old Calypso could be. Yeah, odd him not being at home. He might be out collecting ingredients. We'll look for him in the morning. He might know something about the bloody staff. Shush. Our mission's top secret. Well, I'm bloody fed up with the damn thing. We've been searching for it for the past three months. At least we know roughly where it is now. If you hadn't broke the detector thing, eh? How was I supposed to know it wasn't waterproof? Well, the circle's going to have something to say about it. Delicate and valuable piece of apparatus, that was. Where did this game come from anyway? And that short man with the strange eyes gave it to us, remember? No, we didn't have to pay for it. A nice man, though, as I recall. Very clever with his, uh, wok, wasn't he? That thing looked really sharp. I wouldn't dare mess with it. I wanted to meet his confused friend he was always on about. He wasn't confused. He was called Confusion or something. Judging by some of the things he is supposed to have said, he sounded pretty confused. I had a friend who was confused one. Never, never saw him again. Let's have another go at this game then. I've got two chows, two pongs, and a cow. Dab a bit of sulfate on it. It worked for me. So that's 44 points. Yes, but double it for having a pair of concealed green dragons, I think. But I went my gong, so don't I win? You don't have any concealed dragons, though. But I've got an exposed Kong of red dragons. I think I'd better consult the rules again. Where did you say we were? We're in a quaint rural village, according to the guide. And making no progress with our task. We only just got here. We'll find the bloody thing. Apparently, the renegade warlock, Sordid, was last seen in this area. I hope we don't run into him. Mm, that's put me right off my beer. I remember Sordid in the circle. Rightly like. Glad to get rid of him. Time for another game. I'll be the North Wind this time. So I'm the East Wind, right? I thought I was the East Wind. You're a Southern Breeze, I think. I think we're all winds. I'd rather be a breeze than a wind. You can lose your hat in a wind. What you do is tie it on with a piece of string. It rubs against your chin, though. It can give you a nasty rash. So the prevailing wind is north, yes? Oh, not at this time of year. East is far more likely. But in the game, it's north. That's stupid, if you ask me. Not very realistic at all. Nor is building the Great Wall of China to keep out demons. Demons can fly. Everyone knows that. Maybe it's a magical wall. They think they're disguised as yokels. Doesn't look magical, though. It seems a bit heartless. Excuse me. Yes, boy? I'm looking for some wizards. Know where I can find some? I bain't be seeing any round these parts, like. We be us humble farmers who are. Who are, that be right. I be about as magical as a run of bean like. You have absolutely feeble accents, fellas. Are you saying we be fakes like? Yep. What makes you think we're a wizard anyway, like?
When I move my mouse pointer over you, it says wizards. Oh, fair enough, I suppose. Disguises off, lads. What did you want to speak to us about anyway? What do you know about Calypso? We will not impart such information to you, a non-wizard. Stop wasting our time. Listen to me for a second. Yes, boy. I want to be a wizard. You can't be a wizard. You're not old enough. So the pro. Listen to me for a second. Yes, boy. I'll do anything to be a wizard. Anything? Anything. Well, you could do us a little favor. You see, all new wizards must perform a service to the circle before being um, properly invested. Isn't that right, brothers? Mm, yeah, that's right. Absolutely. Hey? Just name it and I'll do it. It's like this, see? We would be extremely interested in acquiring a certain magical implement. It's a magical star for him to be hidden in this area. And we would like you to find it for us. What does this staff look like? It's about six feet tall with a crystal sphere on one end. Any ideas where it is? As far as we know, its last owner was Naplin, the necromancer. What he did with it when he died is beyond me. Tricky type, those necromancers. Always messing about with embalming, fluid and giblets. Tight twisted sod was probably buried with it. And then I get made a wizard, right? If you find us the staff, then we'll invest you on the spot. No problem. We look forward to your return. So I'm the East Wind, right? I thought I was the East Wind. You're a southern breeze, I think. I think we're all winds. I'd rather be a breeze. Did you just hear something? Just a bit of balsa or plywood. We're not fussy. I must be hearing things. I could have sworn I heard a voice. I think I need to sit down. some sort of logical explanation for this. You can at least look at me when you're talking to me. Just because I'm begging doesn't mean I'm a bad person. Sorry, but it's just that I've never seen a talking stump before. Ho, ho, ho! A talking stump, he says. Who ever heard of a talking stump? I can't imagine how such a ludicrous thought came into my head. Anyway, you got any spare wood or not?
Are you trying to build yourself up again or something? Eh? Uh, we're woodworm. We need wood to live. This stump's just about had it. Sorry, I didn't realize you were woodworm. You didn't honestly think you were talking to a tree stump, did you? No, of course not. That's all right then. How come you woodworm are talking anyway? That's just so typical. You just presume we don't talk just because we're woodworm. Let me tell you something, mate. Your attitude is bloody typical of humanity in general. It makes me sick. You never talk to us. You just presume that woodworm can't talk. It's just racism to the third degree. Look, I didn't mean to offend anyone. That's what they all say. One misplaced foot and ten of my best friends never breathe again. I'm sorry, okay? How can I make it up to you? Well, what we would really like is some really good quality wood. Something with real class. Teak, for example. Oh, go for wood? I reckon driftwood. Driftwood? How about a bit of ebony? Ebony, yeah. What about balsa? I love a bit of balsa. Ebony. Balsa. Ebony. Driftwood. Shut up! Shut up yourself, fatso. Fatso? Look who's talking, blubber bum! Young hooligan, have some respect. Sort of granddad. I reckon it should be oak. And I say balsa. I still agree with Teak. Who cares what you think? Watch it, mate, or I'll do you an injury. Oh, yeah? Yeah! It's been ages since we had gopher wood. It's been ages since we had any wood. Teak? Balsa? Oak? Mahogany! Good idea! I fancy a bit of mahogany. Yeah! I'd still prefer teak. Shut up! Mahogany it is, then. Fine. Anything to help a woodworm in distress. You won't regret this, you know. It's a very deep well. The handle to wind the rope up. A sturdy wooden door. I'd better knock. Nobody home. Who's that trip trapping over my bridge? 
Um, here we are. It's only me, the littlest Billy Goat Gruff. I'm going to the meadow to make myself fat. <laughs> then I'm gonna gobble you up. Oh no, please don't gobble me up. I'm far too little and not at all fat. Wait until the second Billy Goat Gruff comes along. He's much fatter than I am. Very well, be off with... Hang on a minute. I've fallen for this before. If we keep going on like this, then I get butted into the river again. No, no, no! That's all wrong. Referring you to page 23 of the text, I say the he's much fatter than I am bit, at which point you say, very well, be off with you. And then you wait for the second Billy Goat Gruff and so on. It's dead easy. Listen, Mr. Gruff. Every day I get knocked into the bloody river and I'm fed up with it. I'm starving. Therefore, contrary to the popular children's tale, I'm going to eat you and pop your friend there in the pool. Now come on, Mr. Uh, Troll. You signed the contract for this job, so say a bit and let me pass, or start cleaning out your office. Let me tell you something. I don't care for this job or the office. In fact, I'm about to terminate my contract with the Gruff, Gruff and Gruff Corporation by eating one of my employers. Can't we be reasonable here? It doesn't make sound economic sense for you to do that. Why don't we talk this over like civilized adults? Survival of the fittest, I'm afraid, Mr. Gruff. Let's examine basic survival instincts for a moment. I'm a big, powerful carnivore, and you are a weak, defenseless herbivore. By rights, I should be currently cleaning your remains out of my teeth. Referring you once again to the text, you will observe that by refraining from eating me, you will have the opportunity to devour my somewhat larger brother over there. Mr. Gruff, you've always been a considerate employer. I've always had my Christmas bonus, etc. So I've decided not to eat you, but to take industrial action in the state. I'm forming a picket line. No one may cross the bridge until further notice. because he's got a thorn stuck in the bottom of his foot. My foot! Can you help me, boy? What appears to be the problem? It's this thorn. I got it stuck in my foot and I can't get it out. How do you survive with such a near-fatal wound? It's only the courage of a bear that prevents me from passing out. Okay, let's have a look at it. Soon have this out. It might sting a bit. Bro! There we are, all done. Thank you so much. I'm forever in your debt. Think nothing of it. Okay, but here, take this whistle. If you ever need any help, just blow it and I'll be there. Thanks. What a nice guy. Very wise. 
Excuse me. Excuse me. <coughs> oh, it's uh, you again. Are you a wise owl? Oh, yes. There's nothing I don't. No? No. Yes. I'm just not very good with... Uh, uh, Words? Words, yes. Uh, Have you got any hints for me? Hints? Uh, yes. You must be... No. Uh, Suave? No, no. Um, your name? Simon? That's it? Yes. Um, so, what advice have you got? Well, the uh, stars told me... Uh, I'm an... Uh, uh, Idiot? No. Uh, Owl? No. Uh, astrologer? Yes. Uh, astrologer. Yes. Go on then. What's my future? Future? Yes, um, future. I have some uh, advice. Yes. If in trouble, uh, try talking to your um, reflection. Is that all? For the uh, moment, yes. Great. Come back. Um, Later? Yes, uh... I don't think I'll bother, thanks. I'll go and get the biggest gruff brother. The billy goat is trying to reason with the troll. I shall not... I shall not be moved. Ahem. Look, can't you see I'm busy? What appears to be the problem here? I demand satisfaction, and until I get it, no one may cross the bridge. Luckily for you, I'm a traveling satisfaction salesman. Really? Perhaps you can tell me what satisfaction is. Satisfaction. Noun. Satisfying or being satisfied in regard to desire or want or doubt. Hey. 
why are you unhappy? Every day these juicy, fat billy goats come down here to cross the bridge. I know how the story goes and all that, but I'm dying of starvation. Until I get a goat to eat, no one may cross the bridge. Why don't you just eat these two now? These two are protected. Their big brother is a really tough customer, you know. Believe me, I should know. If I lay a claw on them, then you can... You're scared of a billy goat? This is no ordinary billy goat. He's 12 feet long and horns like you've never seen. All I want is some goat to eat. How would you like your goat? Stew would be nice. It's been ages since I had stewed goat. I'll see what I can do for you, okay? Okay. Hang on a minute. What's with the whistle around your neck? Why don't you have a go and find out? They say curiosity killed the troll, but here goes. Huh, that did a lot. Now where were we? Oh yeah, I was just going to suggest eating you and... Is this guy bothering you? Yeah, sick him. Righty ho. Oh, <clears throat> you've been picking on my friend. No, 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 sir. He seems to think otherwise. Ow. What should I do with him? Chuck him in the stream. Okie dokie. <laughs> Everything okay now? Yeah, thanks a lot. See ya. It says, equal rights for trolls on it. He doesn't look very intelligent. What appears to be the problem? Are you a farmer? Do I look like a farmer? No, but you could be wearing a costume. I see. Know anything about magic beans? What I don't know about magic ain't worth knowing. Why aren't my beans growing then? Eh? I planted them here, but they haven't grown an inch yet. Nature takes time to work its wondrous magic. <laughs> but these are magic beans. They grow instantly. I think you've been conned, mate. No, the peddler told me he was an old friend of mine. He even bought me a drink. 
Maybe they're dud beans. They can't be. They came from the same batch as the ones that Jack used. Maybe you should water them. Water them? Why would I want to do that? Um, to make them grow? That sounds like a good idea. I'll tell you what. You go and get the water, and I'll keep watch. I'm one step ahead of you, mate. Well, don't just stand there, then. Pour it on the seeds. You drown them. I'll have to go and dry them out now. I think this is my cue to exit. There are still some beans left in the puddle. It's a shiny metal bell. It's a very imposing door. There's no handle. It is impossible to strike up an intelligent conversation with an inanimate object. rescue you. Who put the lights out? It's peroxide blonde. Prince Charming, come to sweep you up in my arms. You're the third Prince Charming this week. The witch caught the rest of them and turned them into meat pate. Which witch would that be? The Wicked Witch of the West. She took me from my father when I was just a piglet. It was she that perverted my beauty and imprisoned me here. Am I destined to spin wool for the rest of eternity? Hang on. Did you say piglet? Maybe this will explain everything. My God! Everyone makes the same mistake. And when they see my face, they run screaming from the tower. The only way the spell can be broken is with a kiss from one from another dimension. This is where I come in, I feel. Fear not, your savior is here. <coughs> 
What did I do to deserve this? Solid looking wooden floorboards. Ugh, there are loads of mushy novels and underwear all around here. There's someone fishing down there. What a bizarre creature. Excuse me? Yes? Don't hurt us. Don't let him hurt us, precious nice hobbies. I hope this isn't an infringement of copyright. Don't worry. It's just the annual meeting of the Tolkien Appreciation Society. So, why are you dressed up like a limpet? This is my golem costume. It's taken me ages to make it. What do you think? It's not really my style. I just hope it's what Tolkien envisioned when he thought up the character. You really worship him, don't you? And rightly so. He is the kid. Did he think up the fishing rod as well? No, it's just that it's my year on dinner duty. I haven't even had a bite yet. What do you do at these meetings? We talk about him and his achievements. We also reenact famous scenes from his book, hence the costume. Why don't you just dial a pizza? This cave's not on the phone. Oh, right. Mad. You're all completely mad. No, you just worship Tokyo. Excuse me, but I have to get on with my fishing. Happy hunting then. See ya. Thanks. There appears to be much merriment going on in there. I'm not going in there. My mummy told me not to party with strangers. Did you say psst? Who, me? Yes. What do you want? You interested in any priceless antique porcelain figurines? 
Not really. Then crafted by the ancient ones of Grail. No thanks. I've got lots of other priceless antiques. Anyone for a gold piece? How come you can sell priceless antiques for so little? It's the recession. I've got lots of one-off bargains. Let's have a look then. Anything on the mat is yours for only one gold piece. See anything takes your fancy? Not really. Have you got any magical stuff? But of course I have. For the right price. Firstly, there's a strength potion. Watch. Genuine, long-lasting, fast-acting strength potion. Yours for only ten gold pieces. Um... Alright, five gold pieces. Well... Three gold pieces then? But that's the last I go, what do you say? I've changed my mind about magical stuff. That was the last of it anyway. Do you see anything else interest you? No, all the rest is junk. Goodbye. Who needs your custom anyway? A heap of highly magical and smelly compost. I won't bother if that's all the same to you. Wow, this must be good compost. Big, green and fruity. This must be an extremely low-budget candy house. That doesn't work. It's locked. I could never get through all that. I can't imagine what use I'll have for it. I'm not Dr. Doolittle, you know. It's all laid and ready for tea. Looks very comfortable. 
haven't got time for lazing around. It's a beekeeper's hat and fashion accessory. I suppose it's the equivalent of a giant joint for bees. Just like Granny used to have. She's asleep on the floor. I'm not going too close. It is impossible to strike up an intelligent conversation with an inanimate object. It's stuck to the beehive. I took some beeswax from the hive. Hello again. Yeah. I'd like a wet wizard, please. Hang on a moment. I've blocked the nozzle on the barrel with the wax. I'm sorry, sir. I can't seem to find any sparrow juice at the moment. That's okay. I'm underage anyway. Wait here, kid. I've got something for you. Hey, kid, take one of these leaflets home to your dad. Happy hour at the Drunken Druid. Ale for one gold piece a mug. There's also a free beer voucher attached. Good thing I've got a big hat.
It says, caution, paleontological dig in process. There's a strange man digging down there. Hello? Is there anybody down there? Ain't nobody here but us chickens. Are you some sort of sewage worker? Ha! Do you not know who I am? You're a pirate looking for buried treasure? No. Nope. I'm the famous Dr. Von Jones. Of course, the renowned digger of deep holes. Philistine. I'm the most famous paleontologist in the world. I'm looking for the missing link between man and vegetable. You mean Dan Quayle? No. I mean fossils, my boy. They are the key to this mystery. You haven't seen any lying around, have you? Uh, no. If you do see any, be sure to let me know. Okay. Please go now. I've reached the new seam of very promising rock strata. I can tell when I'm not wanted. It's a rock. Oh, look. There's a word written on it. It has the word beer chalked on it. Oi! Dwarves only. I am a dwarf. Course you are. Now sod off or takes a sharp end of his spear. Nice people. Wow, very sophisticated. Itchy, though. All right, mate. All right. What's the password, then? Is it beer? You may pass. Right on. He's assaying the gems from the mine. Watch your fellow dwarf. Go away, I'm busy. Need any help? No. This is a stick-up. Give me the gem, stunty. Oh, do push off. He appears to be asleep. Excuse me. Hello! Wow, heavy sleeper. Excuse me. Hello! Wow, heavy sleeper. There's enough beer in this barrel for a really good night with the lads. very drunk. He looks drunk. He probably couldn't tell his ass from his elbow. Hey! Excuse me. Shh. I think he's asleep. Anyone for a beer?
That doesn't work. Care for some beer, by any chance? I'm on duty, but I suppose one mag can't hurt. Bring it down, will you? Okie dokie. This way. Bring it over here. Now, how about a drinking competition? Anyone for a beer? He looks very drunk. Anyone for a beer? He looks drunk. He probably couldn't tell his ass from his elbow. He looks drunk. He probably couldn't tell his ass from his elbow. I've got something important to say. Yes? The mine's on fire. Run for your life! Mines aren't flammable. They're made of rock, see? Will you please go away now? Okay. I don't think I ought to disturb him again. Guard! Guard! Time for a sharp exit. Where is that lazy slunk? He must have gone for a beer break. Hi ho, hi ho, it's off to work we go. La 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 ho, hi ho, hi ho, hi ho. Shut up! Hi ho, hi ho, it's off to work we go. La 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 la. It's a heavy gold encrusted door. Shut up! Excuse me. Yes. So, how long have you been a dwarf? Man and boy, never an inch of a four foot eye in your life. What, never? No, never. What, never? Well, hardly ever. Where does this door go? It's the treasury. All our gems are kept here. Do you know where I can find the key to it? Well, the dwarf in charge of key keeping today is, um, has this jawbreaker. He's probably drunk in the beer room. Look at shit. A few sit-ups will do you the world of good. Watch it. I've never been killed in a battle, you know. What, never? No. Must be off. You know how it is. Hi ho, hi ho, it's off to where we go. It's a hook attached to a left of road. Shut up! This is restricted area.
Are you interested in any double glazing? Didn't you see the sign? No sales doors, it said. So get out of here before I throw you out. And stay out. I thought I told you to go away. Yep, but I've come back. Ugh. Get out of here before I throw you out! And stay out! Hi ho, hi ho, it's up. I thought I told you to go away. No, you must be mistaken. Ugh. Get out of here before I throw you out! And stay out! I thought I told you to go away. A temporary miscalculation on your part. Why? Because I've come to make you a once-in-a-lifetime offer. What sort of an offer? I've got something in my inventory that you want. What's that then? Well... What's this? Happy hour at the Drunken Druid and a free voucher? How can I ever repay you? Nice pile of gems you got there. Just one though. Here you are, now clear off. And stay out. I ho, I ho, it's up to us we go. La 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 ho, I ho, I ho, I ho, I I'm not wandering around wearing this beard. It's too itchy. Ah, that's better. Extremely large and daunting doors. There's a piece of paper under this rock.
I think you have to open them from the inside. It's a shopping list addressed to the storekeeper in town. It's a door set into an old tree. I'd better knock. Hello? Anybody home? Hello? Uh-huh. Oh, it is so nice to have Persian come visit me. I is so pleased. Are you some sort of boggy person? Not a buggy, Pursling. I is one and only Swampling, the bestest cook in the land. People come for around miles to eat swamp stew. But it smells revolting. Let me out of here before I chuck up. Wow! I thought you were my first birthday friend. I thought you'd come to play with me for my birthday. No one ever comes to see me anymore. I'm not surprised. I'd rather visit a warm cesspit. I feel a serious guilt trip coming on. Hey. You come back! I'm sorry I left. I had important business. Everyone comes back after smelling swamp stew. Sit, sit! I bring special birthday stew! Hang on, I didn't agree to... Friend! I give my friend special swamp stew! Ancient and secret recipe! Handed down from swampling to swampling for generations! What's in this stuff? Ancient secret recipe! Can't tell secret ingredients! Step one, swamp mud, very important ingredient. Mud? And you expect me to eat this? Well, nobody likes swamplings cooking no more. I spent hours making stew and then have to throw it. No one comes to eat here now. <laughs> Don't waste it. I quite fancy a bowl now. Goody! 
get very pleased with this batch. Extra woodlouse works well. I wish this was happening to you instead of me. I think I hear someone. Giddy! I think some more friends have arrived. <laughs> No one there. I hope you like it. Plenty more for friend. Please have mercy. Eat up. It's good for you. Oh, no. A friend. It was delicious, but I really have to go now. Eat up, it's good for you. Oh no. Not again. I won't have to eat any more of that stuff. It's an empty wooden chest. It's too big for me. is loose. statue of a really ugly barbarian. A solid stone statue of a wizard. He's in a deep sleep.
knew it was too good to be true. He looks miserable. How will I live? Excuse me? Yeah? The sun has got his hat on. Hip, 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 hooray! Who are you? A wandering minstrel? A wandering minstrel? I like minstrels, but I doubt if even you could cheer me up at the moment. What did I do to deserve this? What exactly is the problem? Trees. Trees? Trees. The big hard brown things with green bits? Trees, yes. I thought woodcutters were problems for trees. Not these trees around here. What's so special about these trees? They have some sort of magical protection over them. The blows of my axe just bounce off. Sounds like they must be rubber trees to me. Yeah, I guessed as much. Were you holding the axe the right way round? I tried holding it in every way imaginable, but to no avail. Why don't you just go back to a normal forest? Because all my money is tied up in this house, I can't afford to go back. It looked like a real woodcutter's paradise in the brochure. Now I know why none of the others came here. Why don't you just buy a magical axe? Do you know how much those things cost? The only thing that'll help me is an axe made of Milrith. Milrith? It's an anagram of Mithril. It's also the hardest metal known to man. What? Harder than diamond? Diamond's not a metal. But it's harder than diamond. It's rarer too. I don't know anyone that's ever seen it. Have you tried the dwarves? If you want Mithril, dwarves is fine. But those stunty buggers don't know anything about Melrith. When I asked, all they did was give me this metal detector. Do you think there may be some around here? I don't know. Here, take this and have a look for yourself. You can't do any worse than me. Okie dokie. Why didn't I listen to my mother? It's a sturdy wooden door. The asparagus jelly goes here with all the other jellies. Yeah, I, I disagree. It should be put here with the other vegetables. I say it goes here. And I say it goes here. OK. But I need to go to the toilet. No way. You'll have to restrain yourself. Look! This is my body as much as it is yours. No, it isn't. I was here first. You just sprouted out of my shoulder. Who shouldn't have been mucking about with glowing rocks then? Shut up. I need the toilet. Ask nicely. Can we go to the toilet, please? It's a two-headed punk shopkeeper. No. I'll remember this, you know. Ha ha ha!
So, you've come back? Now, is there anything you want or not? No, but I may have something you want. Really? Let's have a look at it. Hmm, this is nice. Very nice. Dwarven, I'll wager. Mm, it's one of those gems that changes colour. I'll give you four pieces for it. Don't make me laugh. I want at least 40. 40 gold pieces? Huh. I won't go any higher than 10. I don't think we see eye to eye on this, pal. OK. 15 pieces, but only because I like the look of you. Sorry, I promised my associates I would get at least 20. OK, OK. 18 gold pieces it is. Pardon? Uh, 20 then. But you drive a hard bargain, no mistake. I better go and put it somewhere safe. Bye. I wonder how he did that. The asparagus jelly goes here with all the other jellies. Excuse me. <laughs> How can I help you? No, no, no. How can I help you? <laughs> Don't listen to him. How can I help you? <laughs> a 10% discount if you let me help you. A 20% discount from me. 30%. Uh, 40. 50. Can I get any service or not? What would you like, sir? Hard information. Got any? What sort of information? What do you know about sordid? He likes jellied anchovies. And perfume bath salt. Anything else? What's the square root of 1369? 37. Who the hell is Carmen Miranda? I don't know. Nor do I. I'd like to look around. Be my guest. No, no, no. Be mine. It's a tungsten carbide lightweight claw hammer. I would like to buy this. That will be two gold pieces. Okay, here you are. It comes with a free nail. Anything else, sir? I just like to browse. It's a cake covered in pink icing. That's not part of a balanced diet. They are squares of chocolate cake. It's an antique wooden cuckoo clock. It's a garden rake. It's a storage bin for beans. 
It's a storage bin for corn. It's a storage bin for flour. It reminds me of when I was a lad. They are bleach, detergent, washing powder and window cleaner. They are all mushy romantic novels. Soft, strong and thoroughly absorbent. They are non-stick Teflon cooking implements. It's a wide variety of cosmetics. It's a jar full of rather disgusting, smelly liquid. I would like to buy this. That'll be one gold piece. Okay, here you are. Anything else, sir? I just like to browse. What's the awful racket? Can you shut up, please? Sorry, old chap. Can't hear you. Can you shut up for a minute? I do beg your pardon. Thank you. How can I help you? What the hell is that thing? That thing is a sousaphone. It's a musical instrument. You could have fooled me. What's that supposed to mean? What I heard didn't sound too musical to me. I see, old chap. I bid you good day. I'm not staying here with that racket going on. It's broken. This is your lucky day. I just happen to own a musical instrument repair parlor. I can have it done up for you in no time. Really? Sure. Just hand it over and I'll return it within an hour. Excuse me? Have you seen them nasty feeding hobbit did? Oh, it's you. You're wasting a good routine.
cease your fishing. I am a purveyor of finest stewed swamp. Stewed swamp? What's that? Will this feed 40 people? It's concentrated. Just add boiling water and stir. Thanks a lot. You can have the fishing rod in return. Ta. I'll go and join the others looking for the ring. What ring? The ring. I could have sworn I had it on me when I started fishing. I wonder if this thing really works. Bloody hell! It does work! I'd better take it off before I wear it out. There appears to be much merriment going on in there. I don't think I can shout loud enough to wake him. A complex arrangement of valves and metal tubes. It's a statue of a pygmy warrior woman. It says, warning, spontaneously combustible substance. My God! It's a real dragon! Well, what did you expect in a dragon's cave? This isn't happening. I wouldn't hang about if I were you. I've got a fearful cold and consequently am not fully in control of my breath. Huh? Hachu! Lucky I was wearing my asbestos underwear. That cough medicine has knocked him out like a light. It's a carbon dioxide fire extinguisher. The Dragon's Hoard, a pile of gold coins. 
Wake up, Mr. Dragon! What the hell am I doing? I don't want to wake him. I'm not going past him. If he wakes up, I'll be toast again. It's a pinnacle of rock. My, that's an interesting rock. I can see the dragon's treasure down there. This is silly. Everyone knows gold isn't magnetic. Twenty-five gold pieces. Forty one gold pieces. That wasn't much of a hoard.
It has a fossil in the middle of it. What are you staring at, mate? You can talk? Give the kid a cigar. There's no need to be rude. I'm afraid that I'm not having a good day. Um, tell Uncle Simon all about it. It's this pink splodge, see? Looks like spray paint to me. But do you know what it means? Can't say I do. It means that bloody woodcutter is coming to chop me down later today. Never mind. You'd make a lovely support beam. If you can remove the paint, then I'll tell you some magic words. Okay, sounds fair to me. You can probably get some white spirit at the shop in the village. Righty-ho. Hurry up, though. I'm on it. Your problems are solved. I'm very grateful. So, how about those magic words? Okay. I don't know what they do, so be careful. What are they? Alakazam. Hocus Pocus. Abracadabra. And... Sausages. Sausages? Yep. Very powerful magic word is that. I really do think I've been taken for a ride here. At least I'm not going to be chopped down anymore. Does anyone have any pink spray paint? Set to Milrith finding mode. I feel lucky. I'm going to do this very carefully. Wow, that sure is strong metal. I've already found the Milrith.
That doesn't work. Catch! What is this? You tell me. You're the expert. It looks like a rock to me. It's got a fossil in it. I'll believe that when I see it. Take it back and get the fossil out. Right. The asparagus jelly goes here with all the other jellies. Yeah, I, I disagree. It should be put here with the other vegetables. I say it goes... Excuse me. You're not the regular person. He's sick. Oh, okay then. Tell the delivery boy we'll leave it outside when we finish making it up. Okie dokie. It's a box of groceries for the goblins. It's dark in here. Lucky I'm only small. I wonder when we'll get there. I'd better put the ring on now. Well, either I can still see myself or the ring needs recharging. Hang on a moment. Oh, I had it on backwards. I can't do anything while stuck in this box. There are loads of empty cardboard boxes. My spell book's in this one. I wonder where the rest of the rat is. The key has been carelessly left in the lock. Finally got my spell book back. There's a loose piece of paper in it. It's covered in scribblings. It looks like someone has been trying to use my spell book. It's a metal slops bucket with a hole in the side of it. A large goblin guard is blocking the passage. I don't want to get cooked again. He 
these manacled to the rack. A standard instrument of torture. It's a packet of super extra strong mints. Are you the druid from the village? Who are thou that hast voice but no presence? I'm standing behind you. Do not joke with me, Hellspawn. Yes, I'm the village druid, and you are in league with the hordes of darkness. Humbled. Aha! The foolish demon has given himself away. Now, be gone. Look, let's be reasonable for a moment. I shall listen to no more lies from you. Leave now, or suffer the consequences. I don't think a man on a rack is in any position to make threats. Your emotional torture cannot hurt me, foul fiend. I'm sorry I spoke, okay? Goodbye. I'm already wearing it. My eyes deceiveth me, for tis a young boy in this den of filth. Actually, it's me. You know, the Prince of Darkness. Ha! Ah, thou shalt not fool me with thy disguise. What disguise? Your true form is that of a huge, winged, fire-breathing monster. Your soul is as black as midnight. How come you're not talking oldie worldy anymore? I, I do not answer the questions of the devil. Well, you've got me sus then. Let there be no mercy on your cursed soul, foul beast. My, my. Who's got a chip on their shoulder then? Curse you, loathsome wart on the world. How can I prove I'm not a demon? There is a simple test. What is this? Simple test. It is a well-known fact that the only true way to destroy a demon is to plunge a silver dagger through its heart. If the creature dies, then it's a demon. If it lives, then its heart is pure, and so we sacrifice it. I expect you find a lot of demons by this method. Never been wrong yet. Call me stupid, but I don't find that method completely fair. Who said anything about fair? Are you afraid, son of evil? Wouldn't you be if a lunatic druid wanted to stick a silver dagger through your heart? 
Okay. Let's use the less reliable but more convenient trial. See this silver cross around my neck? Place it against your forehead. Why is this more convenient? There's less blood to clean up afterwards. Why is this less reliable? Because sometimes people pass. This isn't going to hurt, is it? Only if you're a foul, evil, depraved son of the devil, hellspawn beast. Okay, let's do it. Very well. Goodbye, cruel world. Yow! So, you are a servant of evil. Did you enjoy the feel of the burning hot fire of good? What? That thing was freezing cold. It gave me quite a shock. Oh. Well, I suppose I'd better take it all back then. Jeez. So, what's the escape plan then? Well... I don't know. Got any bright ideas? Well, uh, let me see. Are you any good with a sword? No. Can you cast powerful spells? Yeah, no. Looks like we're stuck then. Unless, of course, you can use some special druidic power to free us. It's not as easy as that. Flower... Druidic magic comes from nature. All I can do without some nature handy is polymorph. Poly what? All druids are capable of turning into another animal. It happens when they see a full moon. What, so you're a bunch of werewolves then? Some of us are werewolves. Others are bears, or panthers, or snakes. What are you then? A frog. A frog? Something wrong with that, is there? No, no, no. But... a frog. I can't help it. It was chosen for me by the head of the order. Well, I'm sure that'll be of some use. It's a metal slops bucket with a hole in the side of it. Can I please put this bucket on your head? Why? Do you have some sort of plan? Yes, I've got a plan. He's got a bucket over his head. It's lucky my hat is fireproofed. I'd better hide until he gets back with help. I'll put the ring back on. I must have run the batteries out. You'd better get others. Oh dear. Make me be baddie. Ow! Extreme acupuncture. I think my hay fever's cured them. I'm coming now, so watch it. Aha! I 
can't see no one. No. No one in here. In behind you. What? Ah! <laughs> Not funny. You on cleaning duty for a week? Please not, Captain. Have mercy. I know light look of things. We go get more gobos. I third that, Captain. That was hot in there. I need a drink. A collection of hot metal spikes. My mummy said never to touch sharp things. Extremely heavy bronze plated doors. It's a very strong hacksaw. It's too big for me. That doesn't work. I don't think he'd find any use for it. That doesn't work. It has the word beer chalked on it. It has a fossil in the middle of it. Welcome to Neesmith, the apothecary's taverna, your number one for love potions, cure-alls, and tri- Oh, it's you. Just thought I'd pop in. I expect you were looking for some free potions since you rescued me. Well, now you come to mention it. Okay. I do have an exceedingly good potion I'm prepared to give you. However, it's a collector's item, and you must only use it as a last resort. 
What exactly does it do? I don't know. It came from another dimension. One of my colleagues brought it back with him. He's been retired now, poor chap. Came back going on about rabbits and tea parties and the like. Very strange business. I'll take it. There is another condition, though. Aha! The anticipated fine print. If you want his fine potion, then you'll have to get me something. I need a special herb to help control my froggy condition. It's called Frog's Bane. My sources inform me that it can only be found on a place called Skull Island. If you find it, then you can have the potion. Do we have a d Maybe. I suppose I'll have to get it now, or I'll never get hold of that potion. He's polymorphed back into a frog. Ribbit! Extremely lucky find indeed. It's an amoeba from the Cambrian period. This could be it. Will I be as famous as you for this? Of course, of course. Just tell me where you found this specimen, my boy. It's in the craggy peaks. I left my metal detector there. Excellent. I shall journey there immediately. Let me just get my things together. I've broken my... Dr. Von Jones searching for fossils. Oh dear. A pile of dirt excavated by Dr. Von Jones. There's also some Milrith ore here. I forgot my rope to get out with. Calling International Rescue. I hit that kid. I don't think I want him to know I'm here. I don't think he'll be pleased to see me. How am I going to get out of this hole? Wait till I get my hands on that kid. such fine metal. Good, because I need an axe head made for me. No problem, as long as I can keep what's left over. Sure.
woe is me. I'll be the laughing stock of... I don't believe it. Lady Luck must be shining on me today. I'm off to try it out. Watch out, trees. Here I come. A pin used as a foothold for climbing across a rock face. There's a very hot fire burning in it. A hook used for hanging a pot over the fire. Even I'm not stupid enough to try that. I love these things. It's a pile of oak logs. It's a block of valuable wood. I like mahogany. It's a pile of rosewood. I'm allergic to cedar. I'm allergic to Boeotian cherry wood. It's the empty stew pot that the swampling cooks his stew in. It's Skull Island. It's a special herb with strange properties.
You got that mahogany yet, then? As a matter of fact, I have. Wigworm, attack! <laughs> that was wonderful. Cozy in this hat, isn't it? I wouldn't know. Mind if we hang around here for a while? Damn sight better than a bloody stump. No problem. If you need us for anything, just shout, okay? Fine. I think I'll catch 40 winks. See ya. Weird. I found it. Rip. Uh, thank you. I guess you want that potion now. Here you are, though I'm loath to part with it. That's okay. I was loath to part with the frog's bane. I see. has the words, drink me, on the bottle. My mahogany has been munched by a horde of woodworm. Okay, boys. Time for you lot to do me a favor. No problem. see much down there but it smells really awful it's an engraved stone sarcophagus Strange. It's full of bandages. Mm -hmm. ah! That was a close one.
I feel like a real sucker for punishment. I've seen this done in cartoons. It's a pile of dust and bandages. It's a powerful looking wizard's staff. It is impossible to strike up an intelligent conversation with an inanimate object. Where did this game come from anyway? And that short man with the strange eyes gave it to us, Rem. You got the staff then? <laughs> Two chows, two pongs, and a con. Well, it appears we underestimated the lad brothers. So now you make me a wizard, right? There's just one or two formalities to clear up first. If you'll just answer these questions <laughs> for the record. Name? Simon. Thank you. All you have to do is pay the subscription fee, and you're a wizard. Subscription fee? Yes. A mere 30 gold pieces for junior members. Pah! A piffling 30 gold pieces. Where is it, then? Where did you say we were? We're in a quaint rural village, according to the... There you are. 30 gold pieces in unmarked coins. Can I be a wizard now? Well, I suppose so. Um, by the power invested in me, I pronounce you a wizard. That's it? Uh, yes. No ceremonies? Uh, no. No adoring crowds, confetti, wild orgies, banners and ice cream? Not usually, no. Right then. You do get a young wizard starter pack, though. Do I get a young wizard's checkbook and pen? No, but you do get all kinds of other stuff. You get a complimentary staff. A whiz kid club member badge. A whiz kid quill. Whizkid scroll notepaper. The Whizkid multi ingredient starter kit. A membership card. Your first issue of Whizkid magazine published quarterly. And many other wonderful freebies. Here you are, all held in this free Whizkid wallet. Thanks, I think. Happy now? Just answer me a few questions. Who is sordid? He was once a mighty sorcerer in the circle. He was booted out for repeated breaking of circle rules. What rules did he break? 
most of them at one time or another. <sighs> I remember the outcry when he managed to break rule 137. What's rule 137? Best you don't know. We never found out where he got the chickens, you know. Do you think he's around these parts? He's known to be lurking in this area somewhere. I'm just glad we found the staff and can get out of here now. How mighty is mighty? Very mighty. Great. No further questions, my lud. Right. It's my Whiskid Club wallet. It's full of useless junk. Mm, I don't think that be... I don't want to let all the junk loose. Well, uh, what's his name? You know, the short man. It's a strong wooden trunk. I wonder if it's the one from Sleeping Beauty. There's a small mouse hole in the skirting board. Somehow, I don't think this one's lucky. I'm not Dr. Doolittle, you know. It's full of smelly green stuff. I used to make these things when I was younger. like the sort of thing a witch might fly on. How do you suggest I open the locks? I steal from who I want. Oh, yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. You want to fight, do you? You want a wizard's duel? What are the stakes? My broomstick against your life. Are you sure those odds are fair? Chickening out, eh? Not scared of you, you old crone. Put them up. Right, I'll make the rules. First, no vegetable or mineral, only animal. Second, no dragon. Third, no cheating. Any questions? What do I have to do exactly? Don't you know any magic words? Of course I do. You'll soon get the hang of it, then. Ready? Okay. Here goes nothing. Bam. 
Taken her. Just thought I'd let her off this once. Okay, wrinkled old hag, I'm back. You want a rematch, huh? Sure do. You were lucky last time. That's good. I was having second thoughts about letting you go anyway. Ready? Okay. Take my prize and clear off then. Now who's won, huh? Uh, no dragons? Did I say no dragons? Now you come to mention it, I don't believe you did. Well, I will give you a chance to defend yourself. Otherwise, it wouldn't be fair. Abracadabra! A mouse? This must be my lucky day. Except that now I've got a terrible craving for cheese. A very poor specimen. It hasn't even got any ears. Oi! You shall not pass! Uh. 
I shall not be stopped by a lump of water and a carrot. <laughs> you shall not pass. I'm walking in the air. You shall not pass. It's a packet of super extra strong mints. Wow! Hot stuff! Something tells me they don't welcome visitors. How typical. Just when I thought I was getting somewhere. I don't see the point. A bit too much throttle there. They're magically and physically sealed shut. Oh. There's a little crack in the door down here. Hello, boy. How did you get in here? Really? Oh, I see. Hey, put me down, you mangy mutt. Ugh. What's that smell? Remind me to change your dog food when we get home. You've got a killer hairball here, boy. I'll get it for you. That was disgusting. It's a maple leaf. There's a matchstick in here. I'll just pick it up. I think I'm in some sort of gigantic garden. A garden tap which is caked with rust. A very small lily leaf. They're fine examples of their kind. I can't reach them from here.
I'll leave it here. It's too big to pick up. That doesn't work. That doesn't work. I don't see the point. I don't see the point. It's a small pebble. I've pulped them into oil. Oh, poo. Ah! Hey, I'm alive. But where the hell am I? Hey, I'm inside the frog. Yuck. There's a little tadpole swimming in it. Out of the way or the tadpole gets it. I guess I showed him. Bye-bye, little friend. It's a magical mushroom with Eat Me written on it.
It's a branch from a tree. thing is gone. branch stuck in its mouth. Its surface is dull and tarnished. It's long and hard with a pointy end. waiting to be moved. I bet they don't use this for drying clothes. Whoever he was, he had an enormous nose. Manacles, how kinky. I hope it's not like the one up the stairs. That doesn't work. Securely locked. There's eight of them.
I can see my reflection in it. Pretty it ain't. What's the matter? Never seen a talking mirror before. Huh? Oh, get a grip, will you? So you're a magical talking mirror then? I'm actually a magical scrying mirror. I can see out of any reflective surface anywhere in the world. Just name the place and you can hear and see it as if you were there. You're some kind of spying device? I prefer the term surveillance. Sordid uses me to assist him in hatching evil plots. He's a sod, though. Do you know how long it's been since I last had a good polish? He treats me like some sort of slave. I've got feelings, you know. Do you require my services now? What's it like being a mirror? On reflection. I'm really hung up about it. <laughs> oh, it was funny down the pub. Hilarious. There's nothing I want from a talking mirror. It smells of hundred-year-old Gorgonzola. It's a suspiciously smelling pouch. I'd better pick it up first. It tells you all about magic wands. It says that the only way a magic wand can be destroyed is to throw it into the fiery pits of Rondor. It's a mouse hood! I can turn people into stone with this. What do you know, Max? An intruder. Intruder? Yeah. I bet, like, he's come to deal with Sordid. Sordid? Yeah. Shall we, like, go and tell him? Tell him? Yeah. We couldn't just sit there while the boss gets, you know, done over. Done over? Yeah. Then again, we could just do our jobs and, you know, just eat the intruder like and where he stands. Eat him, yeah. Or we could just carry on with a game, just like ignore the intruder. Ignore, yeah. Okay then. There are two small demons playing dice. Hello. Um, does like two orc eyes and a goblin tooth beat a triple dragon? I um thought not. I lose again, Max. Again? Yeah. What are you? What do we look like? Your shape, Max. Well, you look like demons. <laughs> Not bad, but what we actually are is, you know, uh, angry, uh, annoyed, bothered, cross, displeased, exasperated, flustered, harassed, irritable, nettled, 
out of humour, peeved, peaked, put out, riled, ruffled, and vexed. Ain't we, Max? Irritated. Yeah. Why are you irritated? I hear you ask. Why are you irritated? It doesn't matter. I can tell you're not interested in, you know, our problems. Is he, Max? Not interested. <laughs> yeah. Guy who smokes. It's a filthy habit. You really should give up. It's alright. We've got loads, ain't we? Loads. <laughs> yeah. Excuse me. Yeah. I thought demons were huge red monsters that breathe fire and fly. That's down to good publicity. We are the genuine article, aren't we? Genuine? Yeah. Sordid keeps us here as slaves. Why would he want you two around? Let's just say we have our uses. He plans to rule the universe, like... Rule. Yeah. I blame the parents. And just where do you fit into these plans? We are Sordid's personal bodyguards, jailers, gardeners, cleaners, chefs, you name it, like, we do it. We do. Yeah. It's a living hell. Surely you would prefer it that way. Look, we're demons, right? Demons, yeah. We're not the ones that are supposed to be suffering. To be honest, I'm not really like sure why he keeps his ear at all. Ever since he got hold of that wand, our tasks have been rather limited. Limited, yeah. He read about it in a children's book. It turns people to like stone. Stone. Which accounts for those very lifelike statues of the people that, like, tried to stop him. Those statues were once... people? They still are, technically. They've just been retrained as, you know, paperweights. Paperweights? <laughs> yeah. Oh. Not to worry. You're safe while he's, like, in the bath. Can't say for how long, though. I think it could be time for a strategic withdrawal. Where's the way out? Sorry, but, like, the only way out is through the teleporter in this room. Personally, I'm blown if I'm going to tell you how to use it. Why won't you tell me? We're demons. We don't work for the good of the people, you know. People, yeah. I could make it worth your while. All we want, like, is a return to the pit whence we came, you know. Pit, yeah. All you have to do, like, is find the wizard powerful enough. Look no further. I, Simon the Sorcerer, will save you. Pardon my lack of confidence, oh mighty one, but like, you're hardly a wizard at all. And what makes you think I'm not a wizard, eh? I've met a few wizards in my time, like, and they're all fat, 
chemical stained, befuddled old fools. Fools. I'm quite fuddled, I'll have you know. I can't be bothered to, like, argue. If you are a wizard, then send us back to the pit, and in return, we'll tell you how to use the teleport. Teleport? Yeah. Right then, I'll just go and get prepared. I guess I'd better, like, pack my bags then. Bags. Yeah. Hello again. Got it sorted then. Back in a bit, just gotta sort a few details. Oh good, we can hardly like, wait. Wait, yeah. It's a small hook to hang things on. Apparently, it's some sort of magical metal polish. It's a standard teleporter. It's sordid spellbook. It looks just like mine. It's sordid spellbook. It looks just like mine. There's a spell here to return demons to hell. You need a double square with eight candles, a mouse and a human skull. You also need to know the demons' true names. It tells you all about magic wands. It says that the only way a magic wand can be destroyed is to throw it into the fiery pits of Rondor. It's Sordid's money pouch with his sock in it. It's a small squeaky thing that likes cheese. Do you require my services now? Show me the lab on the top floor, there's a good chap. What's the point? It's only just up the stairs. I want to spy on Gerald and Max. I can't imagine they'd be worth spying on, but okay, here goes. Why are you like? So nervous in front of strangers, Belch Grab it. Wouldn't you be with a name like Belch Grab it? It's not much better than Snog Fundle, really. Suppose not. Belch Grab it and Snog Fundle. I've seen enough. Thanks for your help, Mr. Mirror.
Hello again. Got it sorted then. I'll just draw a quick magic square on the floor. Yeah, you can borrow my chalk. Okay, we're all set. Let's rock. I'm impressed. Very impressed. This might just work. Work. Yeah. Hey, kiddo. Now I'll tell you how to operate the light. Tell him. Just push the red button marked self-destruct and tell the machine where you want to go. It's a one-way trip, though. You can't, like, get back without the password. Password. Yeah. And we don't, like, know it. Take it away, Sonny. Okay, here goes. Zabag. Zinzan. Zenog. Yarmak. Zog. Onya. Looks like we're stuck. Wow, that really tingled. I hope it worked okay. This is Sparky the Talking Teleport at your service. It would be my pleasure to whisk you safely and conveniently to... ...the destination of your choice. Fiery Pits of Rondor, please. Your selected destination is the Fiery Pits of Rondor. Please fasten seat belts and extinguish smoking materials. A fire alarm bell with a push button center. He looks bored. It's a small forked sapling. It's a pile of small pebbles. I had no idea this place was a tourist attraction. Three years ago it wasn't. That's King Gerald for you. Have some brochures. Visit the Fiery Pits of Rondor. An ideal family day out. See the fires of hell in full effect. And remember, free sunblock for everyone. Sounds really neat. So, 
Why is there no one here? That's just it, isn't it? The place is at least 150 miles from the nearest village. And the only way to get here is on foot or by magic. We've only had two visitors in the last three years. And one was a wizard. Sordid. Yeah, yeah, that's it. The other was this little green fellow. Now, are you going to pay up or not? You have to let me in. The fate of the world depends on it. No, I don't. The fate of my job depends on it. It looks absolutely awful to me anyway. Changed your mind about letting me in? No, I haven't. Oh, look. There's an elastic band around them. It's a strong elastic band. I'm out of here. It's a book of souvenir matches. It's a bucket of floor wax. When I catch the person that set off the sprinkler system, I'll roast them alive. Now, I've got to find a way to relight this damn thing. Just when I was about to finish my new wand as well. That one should have worked. He's trying to relight the pit. I seriously don't think that would be a good idea. I'll try Regis Burns' fabulous pyro whizbang spell next. Quite ironic, wouldn't you say? Hey! Slime bucket! Pasta la pizza, baby! No! That'll teach you to mess with Simon the Sorcerer. The only problem now is how to destroy the wand and save Calypso. Sordid and all his magic couldn't get this thing working. And you expect me to be able to do it with a book of batches? A pool of bubbling lava. Here goes. Now all the statues should return to normal. I'll be made a hero for sure. Not only have I rid the world of Sordid, but I've saved all the good guys as well. At least I'm out of danger now. I just had a thought. Uh-oh. Well, 
Well, well, well, little wizard. You've made me really angry now. The devil made me do it. I'm not interested in your pathetic whinging, little wizard. This time, I intend to make sure you die properly and with great suffering. I guess it's goodbye then. You almost finished the game as well. Say your prayers, little wizard. Hello, Sordid speaking. Who? Hang on a minute. It's some life insurance people. They want to speak to you. Hello? Is that Simon the Sorcerer? Speaking. This is Calypso here. You did a great job with the one. We've all turned back to normal. I'm coming to rescue you. Try and stall him for a bit, okay? Uh, okay. See you in a bit. Bye! What did I want? I was just taking you out of my will. Okay then. Get ready for pain such as you've never imagined. Hang on a minute. What is it now? Why can't you just shut up and die? Can I have a last request? Uh... Let me think about it for a moment. Uh, no! Ha 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 ha! Ho 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 ho! It's time for you to die! Little squirt to mess with me. Well, what do you know? Hundreds of razor sharp spikes, and I miss everyone. I wonder what happened to the bridge. Nice try, loser. You'll have to do better than that to beat me. This time, I'll make sure you die. What's happening? Who turned out the lights? Congratulations! Well done! You finished Simon the Sorcerer! Well, Simon, what does it feel like to be a hero? What's this guy on? Would you like to say something to your fans? Don't miss next year's sequel! Don't hold your breath.
I'm not going through all that again. Phew. What an awful dream. I guess I must have dropped off. <laughs> Looks like I've no say about the sequel.